away from electionary matters, the demolition of an internally displaced persons camp in neighboring chanties in Durumi has left many people homeless and in dire need of aid. Niger uh, Action Aid Nigeria is calling on the federal capital authorities to address this urgently by resettling the IDPs while prioritizing women and children. Mera Mohammed reports. Properties worth billions of naira have been demolished over the years within both high and low density areas of the nation's capital city, Abuja. It makes construction a very thorough business in the FCT as all necessary papers must be complete and verified so as not to fall foul of the development control. Shanty towns, which spring up illegally, run the risk of being moved on at any time, as was the case of the Durumi IDP camp and neighboring illegal structures which were demolished just before Christmas by the FCTA. The Executive Secretary, FCDA, Shehu Ahmed, insists the exercise was necessary to address security challenges in the nation's capital. It has left these IDPs in a very untenable situation. They have nowhere to go and now lie out in the open among the ruins of their temporary shelters. The IDPs had traditionally depended on donations from humanitarian organizations and NGOs when this was a recognized IDP camp. They are left concerned that such donations will stop. Action Aid is concerned and has come to distribute relief materials to help out. Support from the federal government, they have officials, they have the by, which is recognized by the INGOs and other individuals who have been helping them to sustain themselves in the past. The agency's country director, NAOB, says the demolition was carried out at most unsuitable time in the midst of Yuletide celebrations. She calls on the federal government to make provisions for the IDPs. It is pertinent to ask what change at this instant and at this festive season that you have to render people homeless. Something leading to the kind of demolition few days before Christmas and before the end of the year. And at a time we are going in for a general election. The IDPs narrate their ordeal and appeal to the government to support them so they can get their lives back. I go rush meet them. I told me about say making a pack our cloth with anything where you need about things inside our room, our places. They are told me, say, make it pack everything. You go demolish for our places. I beg them with God. We are a human being. We are in Nigeria. Why will we go? They are taking the responsibility for refugees better than us. Okay, find a place that like they find a place for the refugees and keep them. Let them keep us around us. Let them do a, a, a tent for us so that they say this one IDP. The camp leaders are not happy at the insinuations that their camp was demolished because it posed a security threat to the FCT. They insist they do not tolerate criminal activities in the IDP camp and are always ready to work with relevant agencies to fish out criminal elements among them. Issue that uh, there are criminals infiltrate the IDP. No IDP will tolerate a criminal. And let me tell you, nobody was the name of uh, a kidnapper or armed robber who come and say in a butcher here. Jeremy IDP settlement have just been demolished by the FCTA due to alleged criminal activities going on around here. These IDPs are now seeking the federal government's intervention to stop this menace. Mario Mohamed, TVC News, Abuja.